Okay, now see this? This is going to be an absolutely chaotic battle. What is going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai G3 Mods, introducing Team Universe 7 versus Team Universe 6. We're going to kick things off by having Ikari Wrath Broly versus a Berserker Kale. Let's not waste any more time and talk about this on the video. So, I do want to go on ahead and select Ikari Broly as my team leader, just because I really really enjoy the black haired Broly a lot, but on top of that, I think I'm going to include a very random selection of Saiyans here. I'm definitely going to include Vegeta, Goku Super Saiyan 3. I want to I wanna throw in a few random people, and being that we're from Universe 7, I definitely want to throw in Moro, because Moro is from Universe 7. Again, guys, it's the final month of 2019. I do want to go on ahead and wish you guys a very happy holiday season, happy New Year's, everything in between. I hope you guys have a great new decade coming up in 2020. If you guys have any goals, if you guys have any aspirations or anything you guys are looking forward to in the in the new year, uh, let me know in the comments. I don't know who to choose here, man. You know what? Uh, I'm going to kick things off with Gohan just because he has blue. So we have Goku, Vegeta, Moro, Gohan, and Broly versus the following. So I'm going to go on ahead and introduce Berserker Kale. On top of Kale, I think I'm going to go as far as to introduce, yes, Super Saiyan Blue Caulifla. I know people are probably raging out of their wits, but on top of that, I want to include Super Saiyan 3 Kefla. And we have two more to go. Hey, listen, it's not complete without hit. It, nothing is ever complete without hit. But the question lingers, who is going to be the fourth member? I want to add Kabe into this. But, I don't know, Kaba, Kaba just seems a little off to me, so I, I might hold him off. And then again, we have another fusion of Kale and Caulifla, which we might include. But being that we don't know too much from Universe 6, I think what I might end up doing here is introducing the God of Destruction. So, let's not waste any more time and talk about this again. If you guys are new to this channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up because likes and comments do help out engagement a lot. So I do appreciate that a lot, guys. This is a brand new map. I, I, I've never played on this before, which is pretty cool. Everything just seems to be cleared, which I, I really do enjoy. Look at Broly. Broly meeting Kale. Yo, imagine. Imagine the level of chaos. Now, I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like Kale's controlled form. But nonetheless, Broly stomps. Uh, you guys can't at me on this one. Um, and although Kale is very strong, I'm not too sure if uh, she would be able to damage Broly. I mean, not to the point where she would like one-shot him into an oblivion. You feel me on that? Yo, alright, Kale, Kale's pissing me off. Let's go. Okay, hold on, that did nothing. Wow. Alright, so I basically just wasted my time. Come on, Broly Buster Cannon, did that connect? Oh, it did connect, okay. And being that, I, I really cannot wait to see what's going to happen with Broly's character going into 2019. We have so much to talk about, so much to discuss. You know what? Time for me to go Super Saiyan. Now, here's the thing. Here's the question that I want to ask all of you guys. If we did somehow have, right, Super Saiyan Broly versus Berserker Kale, right? The uncontrollable Berserker Kale, who do you guys think would win? I, I would say Broly just because I don't want to... I don't want to look down on what he offered in terms of, like, you know, presence uh, against Goku and Vegeta. But when he transformed against Gogeta, like, that was that was insane. So, no, we're not going to count that because I think that's completely overkill. But you guys can't deny that a fight of this magnitude wouldn't be awesome to see. And again, what I also want to know from all of you guys are what are some of your expectations and what are some of your overall, like, you know, predictions going into 2020 for Dragon Ball Super, for the manga, for video games. Obviously, we have more Super, we have, you know, movies, we have so many awesome stuff to look forward to. So, I want to know in the comments as to what you guys are hoping and expecting to see. What is this? Omega Blaster, yes! Also, guys, be sure to cop all the latest merchandise located down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for copying the merch, by the way. It really, really does mean a lot to me. So, with that being said, uh, anyone out there who does cop some merch, uh, I want you guys to at me on Twitter or at me on Instagram, and I will repost your stuff, and I, I might give you a follow, so, you know, that really means a lot to me right there. Yo, Broly's decimating her, dude. This is no different than what we would see in the actual show, right? Like, come on. I mean, let, let's be realistic here, man. If these two actually had a cannon fight, 
you know, something that isn't a part of Heroes, something that isn't a part of, like, a fan fiction. I would genuinely enjoy this. And being that right now she's giving me a tough time, oh, who she's swapping out with. Oh, Super Saiyan 3 Kefla versus a full-powered Super Saiyan Broly. Let's do this. Okay. So, uh, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, Kefla Super Saiyan 3, she would be overwhelming as hell. Do not, and I repeat, do not look down on her just because she's a female and just because people might say, oh man, she, got, she has nothing to offer. As a Super Saiyan 3, it's very debatable on whether or not she would be able to push the likes of, like, you know, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken times 20 easily being that she did that already in the T.O.P., stuff like that. So, you know, don't don't look down on her just because she's a female. Um, I think Kefla's pretty cool. I, I enjoy Kefla because of her badassery. Uh, even though I think that, yes, they could ultimately introduce more from Kefla, I think. Oh, man, Broly's gonna destroy. Now, you think you're me, huh, girl? We're fighting in the building, dude. What is going on right now? Dude, what in the world? What is going on? I have no idea. Am I, am I attacking her? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so here comes uh, here comes Kefla with her- oh, dude, oh boy. Alright, so if Kefla beats Broly, I'm not sure how to feel about this. Because, uh... Because, really, I- I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna feel some type of way. But, I think since Kefla has Super Saiyan 3, I think it's time for us to up this up a notch. Because, listen, it's, 20, it's the end of 2019. Here we go. What power do I have? Oh, yes. Super Saiyan 3. Imagine that. Guys, imagine the power of a full-powered Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Come on, man. Since she has Super Saiyan 3, I figured, you know what? Why not up the ante? So... Since she wants to play tough. Alright, uh, let's see here. What, what's this? There we go. Uh, listen, I, I've, I, I said this on record before. I've often enjoyed the concept. Wow, are my attacks like coming back at her? That's pretty cool. I, I've often enjoyed the concept of the uh, Dragon Ball Z 4D Broly. I thought he was really cool looking. What is this? I'm gonna blow myself up and take you with me. Oh wow, she's alive. How how in the world she's alive is beyond me. And listen, at this point, she is extremely lucky that I haven't gone beyond Super Saiyan 3. Which, you know what, right now I'm gonna swap out. Yep, here we go. You want Super Saiyan 3, right? Okay, so meet the inventor and the first person that really went into Super Saiyan 3. Our boy, Goku. Alright, let's see. Um... And I mean, honestly, Goku would get wrecked as a Super Saiyan 3. No question about this fight. Like, nobody out there and nobody out there can really say, Oh yeah, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku would one-shot Super Saiyan 3 Kefla. Nah, man. Don't, don't, don't even kid yourself on that one. Uh, why am I... Oh boy. I... I powered down a lot and I... Oh my Jesus Christ. Why did I just... Why did I just sink down so much? That was ridiculous, bro. Okay, uh, I'm a Super Saiyan, so I mean, what does that entail? That 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 means nothing. Oh crap! All right, so I'm really gonna have to like, I'm really gonna have to focus. Hold on, because if she comes at me, man, it's it, it's it's lights out from there. Oh my god, that thing is following me, bro! Holy crap! Okay, can I transform again? All right, uh, we're back at Super Saiyan three again. Okay. All right, can I transform again? I can't, all right? Let me just fire off my, oh Jesus, am I gonna, I'm gonna die. Goku's gonna die, like my, my, my best guy is about to die. Why do I keep powering down? I'm gonna have to swap out for Vegeta. All right, so in Vegeta we trust, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if God Vegeta, oh God, that, that was a waste. Wait a minute, is Kefla really gonna do my guys in like this? Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Let me see, can I can I hit her with something big? Okay, I missed completely. Alright, can Vegeta- oh god, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Kefla, Kefla thinks she's tough. Actually, no, Kefla is tough right now, bro. She is, uh, she is taking whatever my guys are dishing out at her, and, uh, it's not looking good. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna have to up it up. I'm gonna have to up it up. Super Saiyajin Bru. Whoa, Kefla, Kefla, whoa, girl, hold your horses. Yo, she is, she is relentless right now. Wow. Okay, so for anybody who thought that Universe 7 was gonna win, I, that might not be the case. But yo, 2019, man, it's like, 
the end of 2019 and we have the opposite universe beating down our boys. Like, no, man, this is not... Oh, she's swapping out. Who is she swapping out with? Champa! Listen, I'll be honest, I, I think I would really enjoy a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta versus Champa. Like, I, I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thought about the concept of, like, Vegeta versus Champa, or, Be or, or Beerus versus Champa, which we did see uh, momentarily, but, like, Goku versus Champa, you know, Vegeta versus Champa, like, that would have been really, really solid, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Oh, that's right, Champa, come on, you little fatty. And, and you know what? I, I enjoy the, uh, the concept of Champa. I, I enjoy the sub version a lot more. So, you know, I, I, I don't mean to start a, a giant dub versus sub battle in the comment section, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? Uh, oh boy, here we go. Can I get him? Oh yeah, Vegeta is unleashing a beatdown that hasn't been seen in, in a millennia. And I'm not even going hard either. Oh, it's time, baby. It is time. Up. Uh, what do you think I'm gonna do? What do you think I am gonna do, Shampa? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna explode. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Oh my go- oh, wow, Chompa's an idiot. Goku and Vegeta unleashing a duo-like attack. Like, that. that's pretty dope. Alright, so, oh, Chompa's at- oh, Chompa's at Rebirth, okay. So far, this has been- this has been a pretty intense fight, but... Miga Teno Goku, Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegeta. Oh, it's on now. Listen, brother, it's on now. There is- there is nothing- I, I think we can all agree that uh, MUI Vegeta stomps Champa, like no difficulty. So uh, Champa right now, it, it, he's in for it. He, I mean, he really is. But again, I do want to thank you all so much for supporting the channel. And like I said on the previous videos, if you guys have missed out the previous videos, check them out. Check them out. Um, we have the official Tenkai H3 playlist down below as well. So that would be pretty cool if you guys were to check that out. Oh my God! You saw that? I dodged. And then he just came back at me. Oh, you swine ball. Oh, Champa, you swine ball, you. All right, let's see. Can I hit him with something? Oh, you son of a squail. All right, so to avoid us losing this, because the Lord knows we're not trying to, I need to, uh, oh my god. Come on, Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta. Give me some fire. Give me some fire. I think going forward, I've been one of the only people that have been covering this game a lot because, like I said before, this game is really, really enjoyable. I mean, I know a lot of you guys love the mods. Um, I appreciate you guys loving the mods too. And if you guys are still watching up until this point, hashtag God Squad. And also, like, like I told you guys before, uh, make sure that you guys subscribe to my secondary gaming channel, Unreal Royale, because on there, wow, Chompa screwed. On there, we've been. Whoa! No way. Did he really? Wow. Okay, he really stopped my attack. Um, on that channel, we've been covering alternative gaming content. We've been covering Call of Duty, Battlefield, Dokkan, Legends, Resident Evil, Spyro, everything. So go to Unreal Royale. The link will be located down below. And uh, show that channel some love, guys. It would really mean a lot to me. It would also really mean a lot to me if I can put this, you know, this clown down, but I'm not too sure right now because I, I have a massive attack that I, I can, what, what even are, right, you know what, yep, lesson learned. Do not, and I repeat, do not use that attack. I am not going to use that attack anymore, hell no, dude. Oh my goodness, man. Yo, I, I see what he's trying to do here, oh, he's going to finish me off. Damn it, Champa. Yo, Universe 6 has been winning. Universe 6, like, I damaged them a lot, but yo, these guys just might win, man. I I, I think these dudes just might win. I, oh, no. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, you in foot now, fatty. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like, the future of Dragon Ball looks strong, but I told you guys this also on other videos before. I am going to continue fan mangas, I am going to continue Dragon Ball, however, down the line, I'm gonna be doing some vlogs, I'm gonna be doing some Marvel content, you know, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things in 2020 that not everyone's gonna be too fond of just because it's not Dragon Ball entirely, but if you care about me as a content creator, then you're going to appreciate and be there for all the other content that's not Dragon Ball. I'm just letting you know that right now because 
uh, going into the future, I do have so many other, like, fan fiction planned, uh, Marvel, DC, horror comics, vlogs, workouts, gaming, other gaming videos and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm just letting you guys know right off the cuff that that's what I plan on doing. Yo, this dude, yo, Champa and uh, Vegeta had had right now, they, they've had a freaking ferocious fight. Can I end this with this? Let's see. Oh, oh my god, what just happened? What? Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay, alright, so I mean, what a, what a beautiful setting for us to have right now. Is to have like this, like, apocalyptic, like, setting. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he missed. There we go, there we go. Oh, he, he avoided me, dude. This clown, like, yo, Chompa's tough. Chompa's tough right now. Chompa's bringing the firepower. And, and right now, we're, we're both technically even, in a way. So, oh, yeah, you're about to get hit right in the face. Damn, yo, some of these attacks aren't even doing anything to Chompa. So it's like, what? what's the point? Like, like what even is the point right now? If my, if my blasts aren't doing much, then what the hell? I mean, he is a destroyer, which makes sense, but this is Master UI Vegeta. Like, there, there, there's no chance Chompa should be able to survive, homie. No chance at all. And if anyone out there wants to say, yeah, you know, he does have a chance, hell no. Hell to the no. All right, Chompa. Let's see. All right, come on, Vegeta. Don't destroy the planet. Just destroy your... your oh, there we go. Finally. All right, Whis and Vegeta coming in clutch with that... Whatever that was, a freaking huge ass attack, man. All right, let's see. All right, Champa, what are you up to? Obviously, you are powering up. Okay, let's see if I can unveil yet another one of. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's finished. Weiss, help me, Weiss. Game set match, homie. Finally. All right, who's next? Keru. All right, Kale. All right, you're gonna get your ass beat. I've I've really wanted to see this fight go down, honestly. Vegeta versus Kale. That would have been that would have been really fun in, 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 the, in, in the TLP. You guys can't deny that. That would have been a really fun fight. But these guys never got the chance to fight, so it's like, okay, well, what's what's even the point right now? Yo, we haven't even used Moro. How crazy is that? Eat it. Oh yeah. Whis. Help me, Whis. There we go. Get scalded! Get scalded, man! Vegeta putting on a clinic. I haven't even used Gohan, hell yeah! I'm gonna throw in Gohan, 20 minutes into this fight, we haven't even used Gohan. Gohan versus Kale, Gohan beats Kale. Just like that, just like that. Oh, Super Saiyajin Blue. Okay, Blue blue Kefla. Alright, Kefla, uh, you are strong, undoubtedly, I, I'm not gonna question that. Listen, a Super Saiyan Blue uh, Caulifla would be, uh, I, I think, a tad bit too much, but... Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to block that off. Imagine this. Super Saiyan Blue Gohan. Oh, you met your match! You met your match! Super Saiyan Blue Ultimate Gohan. Oh, you met your match now, sweetie. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Can we rush in there? Yep, yep. Oh my god. Imagine it. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comments. Blue Gohan versus Blue Kefla. Who wins? Blue Gohan or Blue Kefla? Please let me know. Because I... I'm dying to find out right now. I'm gonna hit her again. Oh, she coming back with that for ya! Not today, you're not. Gohan coming in with that clutch, boy. First of all, Ultimate Gohan was really, really underutilized in Super. Like, tremendously. Like, come on. Our boy never got any shine ever. This dude was just a background filler character, bro. He got- he did nothing. He did nothing. And for everything he could have done, they completely underutilized him, so, you know, justice for our boy Gohan, man. He deserves it, I think, at least. All right, Kefla, or Caulifla, sorry. Caulifla, son. What is this? The Ultra Kamehameha. The Ultimate Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha. And she is still, somehow, she's still alive, bro. I, I, I can't tell you how, I can't tell you why, but what I can tell you is that she's about to kill- Oh, never mind, okay. Yo! Alright, Caulifla, time for us to raise the stakes. Ultra Instinct Gohan, yep. Yep, this is, uh, this is fan fiction at its finest, but, gotta admit, that, uh, that special beam Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha, whatever the hell that was, that was pretty cool, though. Yo, Gohan right now, bringing the 
fire to Universe 6, bro. Universe 6, you think you're tough? You think you're gonna win Ultra Kamehameha yet again? Oh, can Gohan do it? Oh, yeah, yes we can. Here we go. Ultra Kamehameha. Gohan coming in clutch with that MUI. What is that, the Mafuba? I, I have no idea what he's doing. That has nothing to do with the Kamehameha. Is that God Piccolo? Yes, it is. The volleyball attack. What is this? What even is this? That has nothing to do with the Kamehameha. Wow. Guys, they uh they clicked big they, they clicked baited the audience. That that was that was not anything that had to do with the uh, the Kamehameha, homie. That was that was just bad. That was just like really bad. Alright, Khalifla. Let's see. Can we uh can we unleash another one of these? Like I said before, I mean, it's the year 2020. 2020, man, like, that's that that's nuts. Like, the year went by so quick. And as I told you guys before, I am going to be doing uh, more vlogs. I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot more stuff. So, you know, I, I, I do appreciate all of your feedback. Oh, my God. Kefuda. After this is hit, dude. Yo, can you stop blasting me? Yo, this chick, like, Super Saiyan 3 Kefla has been bodying. Like, she was bodying all the guys. So... Let's see here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, Gohan, Gohan! Gohan did. Can I, can I back up real quick? Okay. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. Alright, let's see. I, I want to see... Oh, crap. What, what is she about to do? What are you about to do, little, 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 little Kefla? Yo, yo, she... Are you seeing this right now? Okay, never mind. Hold on. Alright, come on. Take, take, the, take the attack head on. Okay, like, this attack is very powerful, but, like, dude, like, she's, oh, 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 my god, oh, my god, come on, Gohan, come on, Gohan, come on, if I lose to this chick, I'm gonna be extremely pissed, alright, Kamehame, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, it canceled out, what, how did that, yo, how did that cancel out, dude, like, no, come on, Gohan, Gohan versus Kefla from the uh, from the manga rematch, right? All right, I, I need to hit her with that uh, that Kamehameha to the face this time. Yep, there we go. Can that do any damage, please? All right, barely anything. All right, so we're gonna throw in Brody. All right, here we go. We're gonna transform into Super Saiyan Four. Ah, uh, you you wasn't expecting that one, now were you? Super Saiyan Four. All right, let's see. Can you imagine the pure power of Super Saiyan 4 Broly from, like, Super in and of itself? That would be so scary. And Kefla's slapping Broly around, dude. Like, no. That's right. Down goes Kefla. All right, who's next? Kito. Hit versus Broly. Can you imagine? The Assassin versus the Exiled Saiyan. Oh, my God, dude. And, and Hit is another character. Hit someone else that I felt like was so underutilized, just because his potential was there, I think at least. So, Kakarot. Alright, Hit. I'm sorry for this, but you're about to eat, you're about to eat some crap right now. Damn, that attack was strong. Dude! Hit is down to like his last leg. Oh yes, and I love how as I'm powering up, the landscape is shaking. Oh yeah. Eraser Cannon. All right, who's next? We're gonna swap in Moro. Oh, there he is. The Planet Eater himself. Guys, you guys can't deny, in the early portions of the year, once Moro was introduced, he was such a fascinating character. We came out with theories and discussions for him, and the way he fought Daikayo and Goku and Vegeta, and everything involving his wish. Like, this dude was, he was, he was a force of nature, this guy. You feel me? So, come on, Moro. There we go. Moro's gonna be the deciding factor. Let's see. And and I would have personally really enjoyed Moro versus Hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would have been really nice. Oh, man, look at this. In a one-on-one -on -one setting, I would have really enjoyed these two. I want to know what my, uh, what my finisher is. Let's, let's see. I'm going to consume this entire planet. And I'm going to suck the energy out of you, mortal. Oh my god. Oh yeah, hit's finished, bro. What in the world? Oh my god, what a what a finale, dude. Hell yeah. Wow, moral wins. Either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Slap a big fat like on the video. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section, guys. Take it easy.
Peace! This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck, Zarbon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>